The National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Baltimore Ravens and the Dallas Cowboys. And it's all up next. 20 miles west of downtown Dallas, one of the league's grand settings, AT&T Stadium in Arlington. Good to be with you, Mike Tirico, Greg Olson here in the booth. Greg, we got a couple of teams who love to throw the football, and you know how guys say, hey, we're not going against the other offense. We're going against the other team's defense. Greg, these star wide receivers, you know they're watching what the other guy does on the field here today. Oh, in their minds, there's no question. They are competing against one another, and I think that's what makes this league so fun is when these guys, they know each other, they study each other, they work together in the off-seasons. A lot of times, they're friends, but come game day, there is no question. At the end of this one, yes, they want their teams to win, but when they put their two box scores up next to each other, there's going to be some bragging rights come this offseason. We are ready, and so is Brandon Aubrey to kick this one off. And off we go from spectacular AT&T Stadium. And it'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drop. The Ravens led out by the reigning MVP of the National Football League, Lamar Jackson, already season seven. Greg, he's won a couple of MVPs, and he's as talented as we see in the league. Is there a more exciting guy in the NFL to watch play quarterback than this guy, Mike? I mean, one of the most dynamic athletes to ever play the position. And what's truly unique about him is his ability to beat you both as a runner and equally as a passer. And that's really where his game has developed. Defensive coordinators, they don't sleep very much when they know they're facing this guy and all the problems that he presents. A modest game. Maybe two yards. It's second down. Galore goes off in motion. He'll go again here with Henry. And nothing doing on that run. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage. Nothing more. We have an early third down coming up. Clearly the plan on offense was to establish the run a little bit on this drive, Mike, but the defense is having none of it. First and second down stop. No gain. Now it brings up a third and long. We'll see if they try something else. On third down, Jackson. And he's got it to Flowers for the connection. It's a really important conversion right there, Mike, because you just don't want to go three and out on the road, especially on your opening possession of the game. You want to let your offense get some rhythm, establish and unfold some of the game plan you've set up coming in. They're going to have a fresh set of downs here and now say, okay, can we turn this good start of a drive and finish the drive with some points? A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. From the gun, Jackson. And they'll take this down inside the 35. Not a whole lot complicated about this play, Mike. That was understanding where the holes of the defense were. Remember, in this zone coverage, you got to find green grass. Get past the first down marker. Be friendly to the quarterback and then the ball has to be out on time before those zone defenders can react to the receiver. It's exactly how it played out here. You can drop all the fancy plays you want, but when the quarterback and the receiver see it through the same set of eyes, it's virtually impossible to stop. They get 21 on that one. First down, Baltimore. First down run here by Henry, and when he signed with the Ravens this offseason, and you think back to that run he had with the Titans, Mike, over the last six seasons, over 8,200 yards, 80 touchdowns. I mean, one of the most productive backs we've seen in a long time. Now it's kind of scary to think he gets to join Lamar Jackson in this Baltimore backfield. They hope the two of them can be that combo to finally get this Baltimore team over the hump. Design run here with Jackson. Down in the red zone, design quarterback runs are a handful for defenses to account for. But in this case, give them credit. 
Not a lot of room to maneuver here for the quarterback, and they keep it to a short game. Play eight of the opening drive coming up, and now they face third down. From the shotgun, here's Jackson. Taking off, he'll try to get there. Great reaction by the defense. At first, Mike, it looked like there was enough room out there for the quarterback to pick this one up himself. But they were able to rally to the ball, and I think the officials are going to mark him just short. So, instead of going for the first down, in comes the field goal unit. Bit of a surprise here. Tucker's kick is good. And the Ravens will take a 3-0 lead. A lot of times as an offensive player, you come off the field, you're not thrilled to end a drive like this with a field goal. But I think in this case, you can label it a success. You were able to operate your offense. You were able to quiet this crowd just a little bit and come away with an early lead. Three points on that opening drive. We'll see the response as the kick's away. A return coming from the 14. And they'll bring him down just shy of the 30-yard line. Cowboys coming out. As usual, it's Dak Prescott leading the way. Led the NFL in touchdown passes, Greg, a season ago. Already his ninth year at the helm for the Cowboys. There aren't many quarterbacks in this league who come under the microscope as often as this guy does. I mean, he isn't perfect by any means, but you can certainly do a lot worse than having him lined up as your guy leading your offense. He has the athleticism to bail himself out of bad situations, but also the arm talent to make every throw on the field. So as long as he protects the ball, that's been the biggest thing in his career. If he can do that, man, he's as good as they come in this league. And he's close to a first down to gain a nine. Nice pitch and catch on first down. These are the type of plays that drive a coach crazy in the film room, and you have to learn as a quarterback to avoid. You can take some chances. You can push the ball downfield, but not only to pick up a couple yards. You got to pick your chances of when you want to be aggressive, and you got to make sure you make better decisions going forward. And he's going to weave his way forward. It's a first down at the 44-yard line. Sometimes, Mike, the best plan is also the simplest plan. And for this team, just snap the ball to your quarterback, let him find some daylight, and go get that first down himself. Set to go now on first and 10. On the play fake, Dak. Uh, first down throw there is incomplete. He just rushed that decision just a little bit downfield. I mean, it's one thing to trust your guy to make a play in tight coverage. We see quarterbacks do that all the time. But I think if he was a little bit more patient in his progression, there was an easier throw out there that wouldn't make him have to throw such a tight window ball and put his receiver in a tight spot. Open man downfield. It's C.D. Lamb. 22 yards, the pickup there. That's good for a Dallas first down. Zone route running, Mike, is very simple, right? I mean, everyone wants to complicate offensive football and make it super technical. Once you come off the line of scrimmage after the ball is snapped and you know it's zone coverage, as long as it's sort of in the area the quarterback expects you to be, my rule was just run where they're not. And when he throws it, catch it. Dak wisely hits the deck at the end, but he slides after picking up the first down. 13 yards on that one. Move the sticks. It's a first down. Mike, this is great awareness by the quarterback manipulating the pocket. He feels the pressure coming on around him, but so often the soft spot is moving up in the pocket. That's exactly what he does. Takes off down the middle of the field, picks up good yardage, and a first down. He was trying to get it to C.D. Lamb. And it'll lead to a second down. Up until that incompletion, they've done a really nice job on this drive, Mike, picking up fresh sets of downs. And typically, throwing the ball on first down is a great way to do it. It's actually the easiest down in football 
to operate in. But now they find themselves in second and ten. Do you keep it in the air and try to get the first down here? Or is the idea to just make third down manageable and take your chances picking up a key third down? This just shows why you can't count on just one guy to take him down. He's a powerful enough runner. You gotta have guys coming in support when that first hit is made. It takes a team effort to stop him, especially once he gets going. That one, take it in. C.D. Lamb, touchdown Cowboys. This is one of those cases, Mike, where the play caller understands, I got three points in my back pocket. There's no need here to be conservative. Let's keep this drive alive and see if we can come away with a touchdown. But instead of just trying to pick up the first down, they go for the big one, and it's a perfect throw, great catch, and they come away with six. Brandon Aubrey now for the extra point. The kick is good. And the Cowboys move out to a 7-3 lead. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. Hardy now with the return. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. The Ravens offense ready to get going with their second possession. They'll try to establish some tempo as they start this one with first and ten. It's the tight end likely in motion. He'll start out on the ground with Henry. And he'll get about five. They'll break the huddle. It's second and five. Going to go right back to Henry. And he'll have a first down as he gets this up close to the 40-yard line. On the option, they give it to Henry. Finding room across midfield. And he is out of bounds, but not until he's inside the 40-yard line. A pickup there of 25 yards. Good for a Raven first down. We had a feeling coming into the game that they were going to get this guy plenty of touches. And you can see from this early success why. The defense is going to have to make some adjustments here because they have had no answers thus far. On first down, they'll stay on the ground with Henry. And he'll get two on this one before being taken down. They'll come up on a second down and eight. In motion comes Andrew. He'll try to throw here with Jackson. He'll try and set up the screen to Hill. They'll get maybe three out of that one, and it's going to set up third down. Contact up front. 
Did they get one of the defenders to jump? The penalty yardage, not quite enough for a first down, so they're still looking at third and inches. A big hole. And he's taken down on what should be the final play of this first quarter. So a big third down hookup takes us to the break. It's the Cowboys with the early edge. We're back to Arlington in a moment. If you still get a first down at the one. First and ten, they go from the 11. Aguilar goes off in motion. A give right up the middle to Henry. And he finds a little bit of space. He'll take this forward for a gain of four. the gun here's a give to Henry and he's gonna bring this one close to a first down looks like they'll mark him just a yard short Henry tries to pull his way in and that big offensive line Clearing space. He's in. Derek Henry. Touchdown, Ravens. Good drive. They kept the ball. Greg, they moved it effectively down the field and finished it off on the ground for the touchdown. So often, Mike, we see teams work on a great drive to get down here close, only to settle for a field goal. But in this case, give them a lot of credit. They put a great drive together, but they're able to capitalize and finish it off with six. Now, Justin Tucker for the point after. He knocks it through. And the Ravens are on top. It's now 10 to 7. Out there is Tucker, and he'll kick this one away after the touchdown was scored. Kavante Turpin on the return. And they'll be set up well as he is past the 35-yard line. There's C.D. Lamb heading back out there with the rest of his Cowboys teammates. This one has been tight so far. A field goal separating the two sides as this drive kicks off with first and ten. Operating from the gun. Here's Dak. This pass right side caught by Lamb. They'll come up now for second down and four. Back to throw is Prescott. A short throw caught by Ferguson. And they'll pick up the first down, a gain of about four. Nothing a quarterback loves more, Mike, than being able to pick up a first down without being forced to push the ball downfield and force it past the line to gain. He settles for the underneath check down. He's confident that his receiver is going to pick up the rest after the catch. First down, Prescott. And a good effort there defensively. It's knocked away and incomplete. Linebackers in general have the reputation of being very instinctive players, and I think we saw it there on that last pass breakup. 
The ability to diagnose and read the play almost before it even starts, it allows them to be in the right spot at the right time and allows them to make the play. To the air again, Prescott. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. He's usually such a reliable target in the passing game, Mike. We just don't see him struggle to come down with catches like that all too often. And when you're one of the go-to guys on your team, I know the hit's coming, but guess what? It feels a lot better after you take that hit after a catch than it does after a drop. And a good job here defensively. They did not let him get away. He's well short of the first down marker. The drag route is such a good way to get the ball early into the hands of your tight end and take some pressure off the quarterback and give him an easy completion. The size and the athleticism allows them to try to pick up more yards, but do it after the catch. And we will not have a return here. This one angled out of bounds. Derrick Henry heading out along with the rest of this Ravens offense. And he's been a tough man to stop in this first half, putting up some big numbers already. And remember, we haven't even reached halftime yet. So they come to the line for first down and 10. Now it's Jackson. A throw, left side, caught by Andrews. And no chance to turn and go. That one good for just a couple. Second down and eight. To throw is Jackson. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. He decides to go with the safe throw and throws it well short of the sticks. And at this level, Mike, you just can't miss layups like that. We're going to try to pick this up on third and eight. Jackson now. He finds his receiver. That's Bateman. A game there of 11. First down, Baltimore. So far here early, Mike, the key for this offense has been their ability to maintain possession by converting on these third downs. It's going to be a big storyline the rest of the way. This defense has to find a way. When they force third down, they got to get off the field. To the air one more time with Jackson. That's caught. Derrick Henry. After the catch, he gets that forward for a gain of nine. Great example of first down efficiency. You don't always have to go for the big play, but put yourself in a friendly second down. Now you have equal opportunity to both run and pass. A good spot here. Second and a yard. Again, it's Jackson. This one complete to Bateman. And they'll pick up the first down, a gain of about four. Really nice job here by the quarterback, understanding what did he need to pick up a fresh set of downs. In this case, that underneath drag route was all it took. Get the ball into the hands of your receiver, pick up a first down. Jackson up top again. That is left side and caught by Flowers. Still going. And he will score. Jay Flowers. Touchdown, Baltimore. A terrific job all the way around, especially after the catch, Greg, to take it to the end zone for a touchdown. I'm just so impressed by the acceleration of this receiver, Mike. He catches what is a short pass, and he's able to turn it up the field and take it all the way for six. That is an impressive play, run after catch. The 
Point after now from Tucker. He gets it to go. And the Ravens will get out in front 17 to 7. Out there is Tucker, and he'll kick this one away after the touchdown was scored. This one brought in at the 16-yard line. Nice job on the return. He's down close to the 35-yard line. The Cowboys offense getting their final instructions before heading back onto the field. They find themselves down 17-7 as this drive starts first and 10. Shotgun snap for Prescott. That's complete to Elliott. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. They'll work now on second and four. Prescott now. A quick slash taken by the lab. And they'll pick up the first down, a gain of about four. From the shotgun, it's Dak. He'll get this complete. It's Lamb again. And they'll get about four here as he is taken down. Here's a second and six. On play action. Here's Dak. And that's a veteran quarterback doing what veterans do. Don't take the extra hit. Got the first down, get down. The drive continues. Here's Prescott. Pass completed right side to Ferguson. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. On second down, it's Dak. That's caught by Lamb. And it'll be a short pickup that's not enough for the first down. They'll spread the formation here. Let's see what the call is on third and inches. Now Prescott. Got a man. That's Tolbert. And the defense can't come up with a stop there. Gain a seven and a first down. Again, Prescott to the air. The open man is Tolbert. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five.
Prescott again. He'll go right and find his running back. And he'll be taken down. The gain is six, and it's a new set of downs. He picked up the first down. He'll throw again, Dak. He runs with it. And he's into the end zone. Dak Prescott, touchdown, Dallas. That is second touchdown of the afternoon. The defense comes up with the coverage, but they cannot keep up with the speed as the quarterback scrambles to the end zone for the touchdown. And down here in the red zone, Mike, is where I think a quarterback's legs can be the most dangerous. The defenders are trying to match backs, match tight ends and receivers, but often it's the quarterback that has no one assigned to him, and in this case, he's able to capitalize and run it in himself. The extra point by Aubrey is good. The Cowboys are back to within a field goal. It's 17-14. They didn't leave much time on the clock to put together a drive here at the end of the first half. And the kickoff's coming their way. Hardy now with the return. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The Ravens offense and receiver Zay Flowers heading back onto the field. And it may be time for this defense to start throwing a second defender at him, maybe. Look at what he's done. Whatever the defense has tried in the first half, it hasn't worked. First and ten. From the shotgun, here's Jackson. A very quick throw there, but not on the same page with his target. That's incomplete. Rashad Bateman, the intended target. It's second down. A rare miss for a quarterback that we've seen really come out on fire throughout this entire contest. I mean, his completion percentage, Mike, is well above league average, and frankly, it's really the biggest reason why they find themselves out front. And he's going to be bottled up quickly after a game of about one. It is Jordan Lewis who brought him down. So we've reached halftime, and the visiting Ravens are in front. We'll head over to Orlando. Standing by there, Jonathan Coachman. He has the EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Mike, thank you. More from you and Greg in a moment. But for now, welcome one and all to our EA Sports Halftime Report. It was Derrick Henry, as he normally does, making his impact felt in that first half. He wound up finding the end zone on a touchdown run to help give his guys the advantage here at the break. Coach, thanks. This one's still anyone's game. We'll see who can come out with a hot hand in this second half. About to get started. Three points. All that separates these two sides as half number two kicks off. This is short kick, returnable from the 13. A good return as he takes it across the 30. The Cowboys offense looking to get back to work as we begin this third quarter. They'll see if they can put something together here, beginning with first and 10. A 
operating from the gun. Here's Dak. High throw, but it's reeled in. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. On the play fake, Dak. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. Pretty clear approach here, Mike. You're just trying to take advantage of the size of your tight end versus a smaller defender. And you're just saying box him out and go up for an offensive rebound and get the ball at its highest point. In this case, it falls incomplete. But if they continue to get that matchup, this quarterback's not going to shy away from giving his big tight end a shot. A short throw caught by Ferguson. They'll get maybe three out of that one, and it's going to set up third down. When you put plays like this on tape, it sends a message to every defender across the league. When you play this offense and this guy has the ball, you better bring it when you come to contact him, because if not, you're going to be on the wrong end of it. On third down, Prescott. That is caught. Hooks gets the grab. That's a pair of hookups on this drive. This one goes for 14 yards and a first down. I'd like to see them do a better job here the rest of the game, Mike, just disguising the coverage from the pre-snap look to the post-snap look. And, and what I mean is, when you have a quarterback at this level and what they see before the ball's in their hands is the... Under pressure, and he'll go down. They got him. The offense goes from feeling really good about the previous play with a real nice pickup to then on the ensuing play ending up going the complete opposite direction. Really nice job here by the defense immediately getting back on track. And what do the coaches say? Just play the next play. And that's exactly what they did. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. On the give, it's Elliott. And this rough day on the ground continues. They're going to drop him behind the line again. The speed and the get off by the big interior defensive tackle, Mike. I mean, he got through there so fast, he almost took the handoff himself. What can they do here? This is third and forever. Prescott. He's got a receiver, and that's Lamb. He is in. C.D. Lamb. Touchdown, Cowboys. His second TD of the game, and this one gives his team the lead. A terrific play all the way around, finished off by the receiver, who not only made the grab, but Greg turned it up and takes it into the end zone. And that's the tricky part, Mike, that transition from receiver to runner. And in this case, he does it flawlessly. Look the ball in, secure the catch, and then get upfield and get yourself in the end zone. Aubrey, good with the extra point. And the Cowboys move out in front by four. It's 21 to 17. The kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away Hardy now with the return he'll get this past the 20 before he's brought down shy of the 25 yard line the Ravens offense and Derrick Henry heading on to the field they trail by four touchdown gives him the lead drive begins with first and ten
This is Henry. And they'll bring him down around the 27-yard line. It is Jordan Lewis who brought him down. Second and seven. They'll motion over Flowers. Play action now. Jackson. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. It's rare to see an offense that finds themselves trailing and say, well, their quarterback's been actually one of their biggest bright spots. Usually that doesn't go hand in hand. So it's a little surprising to see him miss a throw like that on a day where he's completed passes at a highly efficient rate. He gets that to the veteran Aguilar. A gain there of 10 yards. Good for a Raven first down. Well, it goes without saying. You want to play wide receiver in the NFL, Mike. How well can you change directions? How fast can you get your body from one direction to another? And when you can cut like this guy, I'm not sure how you guard him. Line of scrimmage is the 37-yard line for first and 10. On play action, here's Jackson. This one complete to Bateman. Try again. It's second and ten. They'll run. It's Henry. And he'll push his way ahead for a gain of two. Trayvon Diggs in on the tackle. They need eight as they come up for third down. It's the tight end likely in motion. On third down, Jackson. He'll try to run for it. They get 22 yards there. First down, Baltimore. You certainly can't fault the secondary here. The coverage was almost too good downfield on third down. The quarterback realized quickly there was nowhere for him to go with the ball, decides to become a runner. He's able to pick up the first down and some. It's the tight end likely in motion. Jackson going to keep it himself. And they bring him down inside the 25-yard line. This defense has had their share of troubles trying to contain this quarterback today, Mike. This time they go to the zone read. The defender goes after the running back, and the quarterback pulls it, keeps it himself, and has a huge gain for a first down. On the give, here's Henry. Just pushing guys away as he takes this forward for a gain of seven. Here's a second and three forthcoming. Aguilar goes off in motion. Mm. And it'll be a short pickup that's not enough for the first down. Can they keep this drive rolling? Here is third and inches. From the gun, Jackson. And they're going to have enough to convert here. And it sets up first and goal. And this is the blueprint, Mike. The ability to sustain and maintain possession and methodically move the ball down the field in the process. They've been in complete control. They've been able to dictate what they want to do offensively and make the defense react. The defense has had no answers up until this point. And now the next step is, can they come away with six? Because anything less than that, 
after this long drive would be a bit of a letdown. It's a zone read, and Jackson's going to keep it. And he'll go down, back at the four. Oftentimes, the more success you have as a quarterback keeping the ball, the more attention that you're going to get from the defense. And I think that's exactly the case here. They've been burned a few times by this guy already today, but this time they were ready for him. Second down, Jackson. And he'll get three yards here, down to the two-yard line. Coming into the game, this is something defensively you have to be aware of. If this quarterback gets a chance and he sees some daylight, he's going to try to take it in on his own. But not in this case. They were quick to react, stop him short. Now brings up third and goal. Line of scrimmage, the two-yard line. It's third down and goal. And he will take it in himself. Lamar Jackson. Touchdown, Ravens. His second TD of the game, and this one gives his team the lead. The dual threat of the quarterback, when you have one that can run, why not use him, especially down here, Greg? And they punch it in for the touchdown. There's nothing a quarterback loves more, Mike, than down here near the goal line when he can call his own number. And in this case, that's exactly what he does, and he's able to take it in himself. Tucker. Good on the extra point. And the Ravens extend the advantage to a field goal. It's 24 to 21. Out there is Tucker, and he'll kick this one away after the touchdown was scored. The return starts at the 13. And a solid run back there. He'll get this out past the 30-yard line. Here's Dak Prescott, and the Cowboy offense set to go again. And I want to take you through the highlights here. They have been plentiful from the quarterback position. Has the offense running at a high efficiency throughout, and we'll try to sustain it here down the stretch. Here's first and ten. A shotgun snap for Prescott. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Really nice job there by the defense defending the middle of the field. That is the most valuable real estate on the field. They know every single offense is trying to attack the defense between the hashes. So give credit. They took away all the throwing lanes, and that ball falls incomplete. And it'll be brought down as we tick towards the end of this third quarter. So both teams trade touchdowns in that frame as we get through the end of the third quarter. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Dak going to throw it here on first down. And his open middle of the field. It is caught. And he's going to be taken down at the 30-yard line. Keep it on the ground. Now they are in. 
business inside the 15-yard line. When the offense broke the huddle in a line, Mike, I think everybody in the stadium knew this was going to be a run, but the offense is kind of saying, okay, line up. I dare you to try to stop us, and right now this defense has no answers. First down, Prescott. That's going to be intercepted in the end zone. All right, Mike, file this play away. If they're able to hold on and pull this game out, we're going to look back on this as the pivotal moment of this game. Oftentimes, it takes that one big moment to sway the outcome of a game, and no bigger play than a pick deep inside your own red zone. The Ravens' offense getting things in order as they trot out for this next possession. They lead by a field goal as they go to work with a first and ten. Off the play fake, Jackson. A throw, left side, caught by Andrews. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. A lot could go wrong anytime you decide to put the ball in the air here late in the fourth quarter as you're trying to run out the clock and protect this lead. But at the same time, I like that they haven't gone super conservative. Just hand off right, hand off left. And it just turns into tackling practice. So I like the balance of making the defense defend everything because right now, possess the ball, protect the ball, and ultimately just run the clock out. And they'll take this down inside the 35. When this offense is really in gear, Mike, a lot of it is because of the ability of Lamar Jackson running the football. He is what makes this thing go, and you can see why. They'll come up here first and 10. Jackson out of the pistol. And he got rid of that one quickly before the receiver even knew what was going on. That's incomplete. I can sit up here all day, Mike, and we can talk about the missed throw, but I think a lot of the credit has to go to the pass defense. Not only did they do a good job making it difficult for them to complete the pass, but I think they saved the touchdown along the way. It's the tight end likely in motion. On second down, here's a run with Henry. That one never got started. Too much defensive pressure. They dropped him in the backfield. You know at this point, the defense has to sell out and stop the run. You know exactly what the offense is trying to get accomplished by keeping the ball on the ground. But now the question remains, are they willing to take some risk here and put the ball in the air on third down? Or do they play it safe and keep running the clock by keeping the ball on the ground? And he'll get this forward for positive yardage as he covers up in the end. And that's a great job defensively here on third down. Not only taking away all the options down the field through the air, but when the quarterback decides to turn into a runner himself, they're able to converge and make the play and keep him short of the first down. So out comes a guy who's been here before. Big spot for Justin Tucker. This to stretch the lead to more than a field goal. This one has plenty of leg, and it is good. So it is still a one-score game, but a little more breathing room now. And this is what you want. I mean, you clearly have the advantage, but you want to continue to apply pressure. Can you score every time you get the ball? They're able to do that here. They tack on three and extend their lead. So, Tucker is back out. After making the field goal, he'll kick this one away. Now, a return coming from the 14. Mm. And this will wind up working out well. He's going to take it up to the 40-yard line. Good return. The Cowboys offense and Dak Prescott set to take over again. And this defense might be about ready to wave the white flag. 
nothing they have tried to throw at him has been successful. He just processes things so quickly, making the right read seemingly every time. They'll come up first and 10 at the 40. From the shotgun, it's Dak. A ball deep for the end zone. That'll be batted away. Incomplete. Coverage very strong defensively. It's second down. I'm not going to sit here, Mike, and throw the guy a parade for ultimately what was an incompletion, but can we just take a second to appreciate the arm strength he was able to show there? I mean, I think that ball is over 60 yards in the air, and I would be surprised if they continue to just air it out and see if they can complete one of those. Finding room at midfield. And they get this one across midfield to the 47-yard line. Well, sometimes as a play caller, it's pretty easy. Get the ball into the hands of your best players. In this case, a wide receiver screen. Get it to him quick. Get some blockers out in front. Let him do the rest after the catch. And he picks up the first down. They'll run here. And this defense not allowing much there. They'll stop him at the 45. They'll stick to the ground. And he is not going to get away. Might have gotten a yard, but it will set up third down. To throw is Prescott. Got a man. That's Tolbert. And he will get into the end zone. Jalen Tolbert, touchdown, Dallas. The game-tying touchdown here in the fourth quarter and a chance to take the lead with the point after. Mike, the sideline's going crazy with that late score, but they still need this extra point to take the lead here and see if they can hang on to this fourth quarter lead. for the PAT is Aubrey. The kick is good. Important one as they take the lead here in the fourth quarter. So now playing with the lead after that fourth quarter touchdown. Time to kick it back the other way. Hardy now with the return. And a decent return there. He'll get this up just shy of the 30. The visitors offense and their running back getting set for this next possession. And he has put in a full game's work and then some. Just an incredible performance on the ground to this point in the fourth quarter. Set to go now on first and ten. And the pistol, Jackson ready. A dive and a catch. Incredible. That's the way to get started. A pickup of 17 and a very quick first down. And that's what you call being fearless going over the middle. That's not everybody's cup of tea in this league, Mike. Some guys love to operate outside the numbers and some guys understand their role is in the middle of the field and not only to make that catch but to do it laying out it's a big time play to secure that one 
A pickup of 14 on that one. Good for a Raven first down. Seems like the fullback is kind of the last of a dying breed, but we see them used occasionally in the run game. But man, when you have a guy that you can target in the passing game, it just adds one more layer for a defense to have to worry about. All three timeouts plus the two-minute warning remain as we get set for first and ten. There's a short one caught by Andrews. Second down, eight for the first down. In motion comes Andrews. Jackson up top again. Right back to Andrews. He's got another one. And he'll be taken down as the clock ticks towards two minutes to play. That's catch three just on this drive. And it gets his team a first down. They'll drop to throw. A pass pulled in by Henry. Here comes second down. It's the tight end likely in motion. Here's Henry. He'll be stacked up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. And now the Cowboys are going to take a timeout. They'll get it with just under 90 seconds remaining. The offense having a tough time with this noise. It's third and six. Now Henry, and that call will not get it done. The defense ready, stopping him behind the line of scrimmage. And it sets up fourth down. So out comes a guy who's been here before. Big spot for Justin Tucker. This to grab a late lead. This kick is good. They move out front and take the lead here in the fourth quarter. And I think this is going to end up being considered a successful drive, Mike. I think obviously you would have loved to see them come down and convert and score a touchdown. But at the very least, they needed to come away with three. They were able to do that and take a lead on that field goal. So, after the field goal to take the lead, kicker is back out there to send this one away. On the return, here's Turpin. Nice job by the return team as he takes it across the 30-yard line. The Cowboys offense and C.D. Lamb set to take over once more. And he's had some kind of game. They made it a point to get him involved early. Boy, did that pay great dividends to this point. They'll come up for first and ten. Operating from the gun, here's Dak. And he'll gain yardage and able to get down at the end of the play. The best quarterbacks don't see the rush, they feel the rush. And that's exactly what this guy was able to do here. He's able to escape the initial pressure and immediately realizes, I got some space out in front of me. Picks up a solid gain here on first down. Open man. That's the veteran Cooks. And that's going to be a first down. A pickup of nine. Back. 
Back to throw is Prescott. The open man is Tolbert. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. Pressure time, no timeouts to stop the clock as they get set here for a big first down. Now, Prescott, a short throw caught by Ferguson. And it'll be taken down at the 25-yard line. So the hope is when you call these underneath drag routes, you're trying to have your tight end come out the backside of the defense in space. So when you put the ball on them early, it leads to big yards after the catch. In this case, they don't get the real big play they were hoping for, but they'll definitely take it. This is part of the two. And he's going to be out of bounds, and that's going to do it. Their late comeback bid comes up short as time has expired in this game. So it is a win here for the visitors, the Ravens. This was a game where both offenses were up and down the field, marching the ball at will, matching each other point for point. But in the end, got a few more defensive stops than their opponents did. And that was the difference in this one. So that'll just about do it for Greg Olson and our entire team. I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. So long, everybody.